All right, I'm here once again with Cole Anderson for our first ever mini episode because we're trying to experiment with the formats, and I would love anybody to give any sort of feedback if you would, uh, if you'd be so kind, if you've been listening to these things. But uh, the reason we're doing an episode on what's following, we're recording this on what has been called Black Monday in China, that has resulted in major, uh, well, that's what we're going to discuss. Whether or not it has directly resulted in the stock market crashes that are uh, occurring in the United States and across the world. And so Cole and I have been doing these week after week episodes, delving into different areas that are in the news in the global economy, whether it's in Greece or in China with, with their stock market crash a few weeks ago or the Chinese devaluation or capital controls, the TPP proposed trade agreements. And so in the spirit of trying to give real time commentary on what's been going on, we want to explain uh, if it if it seems uh, difficult to understand what has gone on. And so in this short little episode, we're going to just relay the facts of what has happened in the last couple of days. And then if you're curious to learn more and unwrap it, we're going to go on to have a half hour conversation about, um, you know, really what are the what are the root causes and what's going to happen next, especially as a Fed rate hike uh, has been discussed for for the next month in September. So in this mini episode, I'm here with you, Cole. Can you uh, relay to our sweet listeners what in the world is going on right now with these major stock market crashes that everybody is freaking out about. Yeah, well, you talked about the Chinese Black Monday, and today, August 24th, the Shanghai Main Share Index lost over 8% of its value. Huge, huge loss. And that was followed... Biggest since 2007. Biggest since 2007. And that was followed up by a, the Dow opening up uh, down 1,000 points and then closing down 600 Huge loss in the Dow, and that's followed, or that was um, that followed uh, a loss on Friday and a loss on Thursday as well. Dow was down a, a big chunk, so are all the other U.S. indices. So yeah, uh, pretty big news. And it's not just China; it's not just the U.S. Right? We have European markets down uh, anywhere from you know four and a half to six percent in the last day. Is that? And these are huge numbers, right? Can you put it into context, Cole? Yeah, I mean this is. Uh, this is the beginning of something big, as well, at least what it looks like. Uh, and usually when we have big moves like this, you don't have big moves across the board like you stated. So this is something that happens uh, only a couple times, you know, a couple times a decade or so. Okay, and, uh, you know, we could reference some of the podcasts we've done already, but for people just listening to this, this quick little episode what are some of the major events that have been happening in the, the time leading up to this? Well, we talked about the uh, stock market crash in China occurring. I mean, this, the, the Chinese stock markets have been going down for the past several months. So that's not necessarily a new thing, a stock market uh, crash. But this crash that we saw today in China was one of the biggest yet. And they're actually down... Uh, so far that they've that they're down for the entire year, so that's pretty big. As um, we've also have the the Fed coming out and the the Fed minutes were uh, leaked a couple weeks ago, and they talked about the fact that they're kind of timid on raising interest rates, or not sure if they're going to do it or not. So that's had some effect on the markets. Um, there have been also some people coming out saying that the, the stock markets were, were going to go up possibly because we might see some more easy monetary policy. So this constant fight back and forth as to what's actually going to happen, the uncertainty has just gone through the roof. And we see that actually with what's called the VIX index. And that more than doubled today, uh, rose one of its big, biggest rises in years, basically measures the amount of uncertainty in the market. So that's another big move. Yeah, I, th I think that's definitely something we'll talk about in the longer episode. And yeah, that's exactly what you brought up. There's a confluence of events in China. So also, you know, it, it, it's going to be hard to parse, you know, what all is related. But the yuan devaluation happened frequent, uh, recently too, uh, China devaluing its currency. And so uh, it must be said that we followed that as soon as it happened. We followed the stock market crash and the devaluation as soon as it happened. And you can listen to those episodes. And uh, while at the time the Chinese stock market crash, uh, the one that happened, in our recent past, that wiped out uh, several trillion dollars, a huge percentage of the economy, the, the stock market. And we were wondering if that was a one-time event or if there was more to come. And clearly, 
after today's Black Monday, there were there was more to come. And now, you know, I've heard certain indices have wiped out all their gains for the year in China. Um, and so, yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. Uh, Cole and I, if you're listening for the first time, Cole is uh, somewhat of an expert, whether or not it's formally so. You've been hosting that Austrian economics meetup group for quite a while and uh, have been politically active. I know that and is uh, just like a jukebox when it comes to economic ideas. And and so we've been really sitting down having some great conversations. I encourage you to listen to those. Uh, Black Monday happened. Listen to our podcast using this mini episode to promote other podcasts. But uh, but in all seriousness, there's a lot of eyes on the Federal Reserve right now and the fact that they've been talking about raising interest rates in September. If you don't have any context for that, interest rates have been at near zero, super low since the 2007-2008 financial crisis. And there was talk back in June if they were going to raise rates. Then there was talk in March were they going to raise rates. And they were talking about it back last year. And so now, uh, given all of what is going on, all eyes are on the Fed. And many believe that they have no way to raise rates. Cole and I, I guess, land on this side of the argument. And we're going to talk about that some more. Uh, but it's definitely something to watch out for, even if it's the type of news that's maybe not going to get super talked about. Uh, what's coming next with the Federal Reserve is going to be very interesting and seeing what happens in the next couple of days of trading on these stock markets that are already crashing uh, is something that we'll, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. So stay tuned. Follow at RTV Tweets. Going to start doing way more uh, real-time tweeting to, to share updates as they happen, especially given all that's going on. But Cole, thank you here for this mini episode. Uh, please, please come back and listen more and I encourage you to listen to our next episode in which we we really unwrap this issue even more.